Hey guys, I know it's a little late, but I just decided, you know, after seeing a, a television spot on here of an old movie, that I would just get a, a review of it out of the way now, because I love this movie, and quite frankly, it... <clears throat> It is one of the best adaptations I have ever seen of a play, so that's an understatement. This is my review of William Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet from, from 1996. This film stars Leonardo DiCaprio and 17-year-old Claire Danes <clears throat> as the star-crossed lovers who are torn apart by two families, the Montagues and the Cat. You guys all know the original story. We all know the original story. Anyway, <clears throat> th this movie was my first experience of it. And, fun fact, this was actually the first romantic movie that DiCaprio had starred in a year before he did Titanic. I mean, the guy had to be like 19, my age now, who knows. But, <coughs> really, Leo, Claire, Danes, and the entire cast, they do a phenomenal job. The film is set in modern times, but I don't have a problem with that. Hey, I've seen, I've seen Carrie in modern times, so what do you expect? <clears throat> it was a little hard for me to understand what the characters were talking about at first, because this is like very, very old English. So, in some parts, some people may have trouble understanding what's going on. <clears throat> I'm, I'm sorry guys, my, <clears throat> my throat is giving me trouble, kind of scratchy. The acting is pretty much very, very good, and the cinematography, oh. It, it is beautiful. Apparently, I think... Apparently, I think this version of Romeo and Juliet got mixed reviews when it came out. Um, but hey, some people liked it, and I was one of those people. I love it. And, yeah... <clears throat> What, what the whole entire cast does is that they bring Romeo and Juliet to a whole new light. And let me just say, this, this version is a lot better than the version from 1968. Don't get me wrong, I did like the version with Leonard Whiting and Olivia Hussey, but... <clears throat> It's, it's not particularly the best movie, but I do like it. I really do. And when I was in high school, my class watched the 1996 version, and I was so excited. My English class, by the way. And l let me just say... This movie has some some of the weirdest, and I mean the weirdest, scenes in the first half. I'm, I'm not saying this movie is bizarre, but some parts of it, some parts of it are in that category. I won't give any spoilers away if some of you have not seen it, but... <coughs> Really? 
that's all I have to say about Romeo and Juliet. So, I give this movie a 10 out of 10. This is Jesse670, signing out, and good night. See you later.